You know, I think it's genuinely titillating for the audience. It's genuinely exciting and thrilling and like you don't know what's going to happen because it's like you've never been in a situation where someone calls someone else out in such a way or when someone says something that is so clearly um, controversial that's not politically correct, you know, that breaks those rules. And I, and, I, and I think, you know, in getting to see that, you know, you leave the theater unsettled but you also say, wow, those are those are important issues. Even, you know, on the other side of the proscenium, it's like a little bit of theater out there of like, I'm offended by that, you know, but then something else they laugh at and then other people are like, well, I'm offended by that. Why are you laughing at that? You know, if you're, if you're so politically correct, why would you laugh when someone makes a joke about a deaf person, but you can't laugh when a person makes a joke about a Jewish person? You know, it's, it, it asks a lot of questions and, uh, and unsettles people. I stand out, you know, the character is like, it's almost like a cartoon character, you know, it's got a real strong... Uh, no one can steal anything from James, he's phenomenal, he really is, he's, he's wonderful. So I think he, you know, I, I think I ride on his coattails more than uh, steal it. We finished in London at the end of February and we had a month off before we came here. And all my bruises went away during March. And then as soon as we came here in April, started rehearsing, I got back to my apartment and was like, oh, that one's back, oh, that one's back. Oh, I got that one back. That's all these sort of... But they're now Broadway bruises, so they're more exciting. <laughs> you know, it's just more energetic. It's kind of an interesting journey for, for, for my guy because at first he's trying to get her on stage and he's trying to make sure she shows up and sings the right songs and all that. But, but by the end of the play, he's not interested in saving the performer. He just wants to save the person. And the other guy, the no, Mickey Deans guy, makes the decision that the way to save Judy Garland is to save the performer, and the way to save the performer is to give her drugs, you know, and my guy's fighting against that as hard as he can. By the end of the play, the audience is sufficiently invested in Judy that they want to see her survive, and I think the audience is well aware that, you know, they know what happened, they know how tragic the end was, um, and they don't want that to happen. You know, emotionally, you don't want that to happen, so I think the audience gets behind my attempt to save her. They certainly don't get behind Mickey Dean's. <laughs> Even though there is this harrowing aspect of it, what you, what you come away with is the takeaway is the positive stuff, the energy and the talent and the charisma of what Judy Garland was.